welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so excited because today Saturn finally goes direct. This is the day I have been waiting for. And it's funny because I woke up this morning and I was in a good space later on in the day. But when I woke up in the morning, I just felt off. Like I felt after a good night's rest I felt drained I felt tired I was like I don't know how I'm gonna get my engines revving I don't know how I'm gonna pick my energy up I don't know what it was that I was going through in that moment I had crazy dreams the night before and I woke up and I just was like okay I need to take some time for myself I need to meditate I need to do some yoga now you guys already know I take about 20 22 minutes minimum every day before I start my day that's minimum before I start my day in prayer and in meditation I took I think an hour to two hours to get started and then after that I felt so good and this has shown me lately this has shown me the importance of taking care of myself and putting myself as a priority first before I put myself to be of service to others. And ultimately, that is what we have all been going through, especially with so many of these planets going retrograde, specifically Saturn. Saturn is a planet that rules the things that it is that we have to learn, that the lessons that we just have a hard time making concrete and cementing it in our brains for whatever reason. Saturn's main goal and responsibility is to make sure that you are going to be strong, have a firm foundation so that you can build up and build out when it comes to your career and when it comes to your dreams, commitments, goals, everything. Now in my own life, I have Cancer on my Ascendant and Saturn on my Seventh. Because Cancer rules my Ascendant, Saturn sits directly opposite of Cancer and that rules my Seventh House of Relationships. But I also have to look to see what Saturn falls within my house and that's my Sixth House of Service to Others. So. In a lot of ways, when Saturn goes direct, he's saying like, okay, now's the time for you to give, now's the time for you to build, for you to do the work that is required of you. Why work? Because Saturn is always connected to our career and our advancement. No matter if Saturn rules your 10th house or your third house or your fourth or your 12th, it doesn't matter. He's connected to what it is that we're able to build because Saturn is the natural ruler of Capricorn, which rules within the astrology chart of the career and your personal advancement. Now, I have learned so much about myself within this last year, but when Saturn was retrograde, he was working to make me my best version of myself by returning me back to these lessons. This is why I'm talking about my natal chart with you guys now is because I want to use myself as an example. So because Saturn is connected naturally to our career and our work and our advancement, our social status, I have to factor that in when I'm looking at where Saturn is transiting my, my chart, but also where he falls within my chart, because this is where I'm going to see these major lessons, these major areas of growth. For that reason, again, I had to look at how I was being of service to others, my relationship with others, and also that relationship that I have with myself. It almost has been a recurring theme within my life, which it's like, Jess, you have to take care of yourself before you give so much of yourself to other people because if your cup is not filled, then you are not filled. And Saturn keeps putting me in a position which it's like, yo, when are you gonna learn your lesson? When are you gonna stop doing too much? When are you gonna stop doing the most? That's my karma. Those are my lessons. Those are my, that's my task list that Saturn gives to me because these are the things that Saturn rules and how he works to bring prosperity and abundance in my life. Now, if I'm listen to his lessons and if I follow his flow and what it is that he does for me, then I will reap the reward. I will reap the benefit. In which case, that's how I saw my energy return to me this morning. Not only was my own energy filled and I felt strong and good and concrete, also energy that Saturn rules, but I was able to talk to my clients and be like, look, I see that you're booked for a recorded reading, but I have enough energy where I can do this live. We can talk face to face and let's take take this to the next level. And I've been serving at my top all day. This is just a simple example of what Saturn retrograde is doing, what it's done, and how I've learned, and how because of that, I'm able to give more. I'm able to grow from it. I'm able to benefit from it. That's what Saturn does. And this is not only for me, but for you. So you have to look to see what Saturn rules within your chart and also connect it to your career, your work, your social status, because those are the areas that Saturn naturally rules. Saturn's 
considered a malefic planet simply because the lessons that he gives are so strong and so forceful and they're very stubborn. Saturn's goal and responsibility within our chart is to make sure that we have what it takes in order to have a firm foundation and to be someone who is consistent, reliable, informed, knowledgeable, and has whatever it takes to advance, to be the, the best in their field, in their career. For me, that's astrology, tarot, esoteric, and the occult. For you, it might be something different. One of my favorite ways to describe Saturn is by calling him quality control because it's almost like he has this task list that he goes down and says, this needs to be changed, this needs to be switched up, this needs to be revamped, you need to do this over, this is weak. And what he does is when he's retrograde, he makes you revisit those weak areas by breaking them down so that you see them and that you're aware that they are weak. If you continued on in your career path or if you continued on in your relationship with these weak areas, the, found, the relationship can never grow into what it is that it's destined to be. It can never prosper. It can only be limited to what it has been and what it is now in this moment. But that is conducive to nothing. That doesn't help you evolve. That doesn't help your partner evolve. That doesn't help you to evolve. That's why people are so scared of Saturn. And I understand why they're scared of Saturn, but it's not necessary. It's not needed because if you are serious about what it is that you want and what it is that you want to be prosperous and to be strong, then to have someone come in with the knowledge that it has and share that knowledge with you and point out and highlight areas that you will need to kind of switch up and change in order for you to be your highest and greatest self, that is the biggest blessing. We always look at planets like Jupiter and Venus. We say, oh my gosh, like these, this is what I want. Jup Jupiter is direct, Venus is direct, or Jupiter is here and we have a Venus transit. Those things are really nice, don't get me wrong, but Saturn is overlooked more times than it isn't. Or if it's not overlooked, people look at it and they're like, oh my God, I'm going through my Saturn transit, I'm going through my Saturn return. Granted, it does suck. Saturn does come in with a heavy fist, but it all comes out of space of love. It's not there to show you like, hey, you're weak or hey, you're you're not sufficient enough or hey, you don't have what it takes. It's like, look, I need you to see this so that you can learn from it. And if you're open to taking notes and if you're willing to learn and to grow and to do whatever it is that you have to do in order to make it strong, then you can advance. Then you can take it to the next level. But if you are stubborn, if your ego is too strong, if you're not open to growing and if you're not open to advancement, then you are going to stay in a position that is weak. And that is not where I want to be. And I know that that is not where you want to be. So during the Saturn retrograde, what was happening was areas that were weakened were getting highlighted and broken down because that's what Saturn does. It comes in with an iron fist and says, boom, he like Donkey Kong slams it and says, look, this can't survive a, a fist. So you're going to need this, 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 this in order for it to take a hit. So you're just like, okay, you didn't need to break it down in that way, but I'm going to go ahead and fix it and tweak it and learn and grow and listen to your advice and hear what it is that you're saying and take notes so that I can learn. Then Saturn comes back again, especially if he goes direct and then returns back into retrograde. He says, okay, remember that last lesson? I'm retracing my steps. What progress have you made? What have you done? And he pulls out his list, quality control, pulls out his glasses and he's stern face and he goes, Mm, 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 mm. go over this again, check mark here, check mark here. If you do listen to the advice and the counsel of the wisdom that Saturn brings to you, he will leave you a reward. He will say, you've passed the test. Not only did you pass the test, but I'm gonna give you a medal, a gold medal. And that gold medal is the man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams, a relationship that is long lasting, that lasts the time, the test of time, because that's what Saturn does. It promises longevity, not just in this moment, Moment. It's not just a relationship that comes in and blows out. It's something that lasts forever, that you can build upon, someone that you can count on, someone that is always there with you till the day you die. The same thing is true for your career. If you listen to him, if you do all, all of the steps that it is that he's guiding you and teaching you, then you will grow so quickly. And not only that, but you will advance in your career. And if you follow the advice of your chart and go where it is that it's guiding you, you will not only advance in your career, but you will be top in your career and you will make the highest marks that you can make when it comes to finances and security. There's one planet to give to you security and stability and financial reward. It's not always Jupiter, it's Saturn and people overlook that. Saturn is a planet that 
re will reward you. Jupiter comes in and says, okay, here's a lump sum of money. Saturn says, I'm not going to give you a lump sum of money. I'm going to give you a salary. This is your salary because you worked for it, you worked hard, and you earned it. The same thing is true for mental health. Let's say if you have a Saturn transit in your 12th house, that can be really tough for some people to deal with because the 12th house is so vulnerable. But if you're open to asking for advice and listening to gurus and going to a counselor and working out those issues, the reward is a healthy mind, a healthy body because all of these things are connected. Saturn is such a blessing because if you look at the chart, he naturally rules the 10th house and the 10th house is where it is that you're striving to go. Opposite the 10th house is the 4th, which is where you have been, where you have where where you are coming from. And for many of us, that's our foundation, our family, so our upbringing. What Saturn does is he challenges those structures. He challenges that foundation within your life and says, "Look, this is what may have happened, but if you listen to me, I know I can come across cold and heavy and difficult to deal with, but I am actually your benefactor. I'm actually working to guide you, to help you to grow. And I may not be the most affectionate, but you will gain the most from me. Saturn is not that planet to come in and give you a hug and be like, oh, there, there, you poor, ugly thing. Saturn's like, pick yourself up. All right, I see something in you, and in order for you to achieve, to accomplish, then I need you to grow. I need you to listen to me. I need you to man up. Saturn again rules with a heavy fist and he comes in like a sledgehammer. Like I'm, I'm not kidding when I say that he comes in and he Donkey Kongs your ass. So if you can't take that Donkey Kong punch, then that means that a lot of you has to strengthen up to learn in order for you to take that hit and to not be shook up by it. That's what Saturn does. The other thing is that, like I said before, he promises commitment. He promises stability. If Saturn sees a weakened spot within a commitment between two people or two things, he's gonna say, look, I need you guys to revisit this and see if this is really what it is that you want. Is this bond strong enough? This is why Saturn is my favorite planet within our solar system, within astrology, because I want people with me by my side and things and things around me that are firm, that are strong, that are stable. Saturn is the only planet that can do that. It's not all bells and whistles. I'm not saying that, you know, planets like Neptune and Venus, that their magic isn't special because it is. But without Saturn making that concrete sta stability, we have nothing firm to stand on and and for that there's nowhere for us to go there's nowhere for us to grow the other thing that I want you guys to be aware of is the fact that Saturn connects to bones and teeth so during the Saturn retrograde period many of you guys had to go back to the dentist maybe maybe you're getting like um, spine realignments or whatever it is that people do when they go to their it's not a cardiologist what is it called chiropractor 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 where they're realigning your your the rigidity of your spine and we don't realize how much our alignment impacts our the rest of our body the health of our body look at Saturn as that look at Saturn as the bones within your life in all areas of your life so watch his transit watch where it is that he's going and what is it what it is that he's doing and instead of folding up into a little flower and being like oh I can't take it be like okay challenge accepted what do I need to do and then roll your sleeves up be prepared to get your hands dirty and dive in and dominate one thing I also want to say is that Saturn is the planet of limitations and he will slow people down and he will create boundaries. So many of you guys were learning how to reestablish certain boundaries with people that you may love or people that you're just like, look, you don't get to cross this 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 threshold. For many people, it's hard for us to say to set boundaries for the people that it is that we love and care about the most, but Saturn has the ability to say like, look, we have to focus on you and your development and your growth. You can't focus on what others are doing. We wanna focus on you. That's why some commitments and some things that we normally, these uh, some responsibilities that we normally carry, we're like, look, I have to put this down because this is not for me. We'll see this kind of like restructuring, emphasis on the word restructure because that's what Saturn does. He creates structure and stability. So when he is retrograde, he is restructuring commitment security the foundation if it's not strong if it doesn't serve you he's going to work to break it down or he's gonna highlight it so you can revisit it restructure it and redo it so that it's something that betters you your adva your advancement and the reason for you being here now back to what it was that I was saying about Saturn create 
Saturn creating limitations and delays and slowing down your growth. Now, I hate hearing the internet groan and moan and be like, oh my God, Saturn is retrograde, so he's gonna slow me down and I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to prosper, I'm trying to do this, I have to build a brand, I'm trying to get married, I'm trying to have kids. And it's like, who do you think you are? <laughs> like seriously, who do you think you are? Your ego is going to get slapped into place. And that's because Saturn says, look, you're really cute for thinking that, but you're not ready. And when he goes retrograde, he's going to show you, look, the dynamic of the partner that it is that you want to have a relationship with in order to have these kids with is not strong. You have to revisit these old communication failures that you guys keep having. You have to revisit the fact that your, your, your husband, your boyfriend, your wife is cheating on you. That comes across real cold and harsh, like <laughs> I don't care about your feelings or that Saturn doesn't care about your feelings. But in reality, he's saying, look, this is what is real. Okay, Jupiter and Neptune will, will paint these pretty pictures for you, but Saturn will say, this is realistic. This is what is practical. This is, this is what is actually going on. And if you can't stomach that, and if you can't swallow that, then you're not ready and you don't have what it takes. You want to have the blessing of Saturn when it comes to you creating a, a home for your children because that means that that home is secure for your kids. Don't you want the best for your children? The other thing is that you want to have a firm foundation when it comes to making a commitment because if you are getting married or if you are entering into a relationship or a partnership, you wanna make sure that both people are mature enough to do whatever it takes in order to keep that relationship going. And Saturn rules maturity. Saturn wants you to be an adult. And if you're not mature enough and he says, look, I'm gonna pull up these issues. You can't have a serious conversation with this person about your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes, but you wanna have a future with them? Come on. That's what Saturn will bring. He will highlight these issues and say, slow down. There's something here that you need to see. There's something here that you need to reassess. And if you're not open to doing that, then you're not open to having a secure future. That's why Saturn is telling you to slow down. Jupiter says, boom, let's do this. Venus says, come on, let's have a party. But Saturn and Pluto are on the same wavelength. In fact, as at the time, at the time of me filming this video, Pluto is also retrograde, showing that there are many areas of your life that are getting transformed, transitioned, dying, being reborn. That's because that's the area that Pluto rules because he's bringing in quality into your life. Saturn's job is to see these changes, see this evolution, and then say, cool, this is what you want, this is your dream, this is your vision, because you've had, I've had this conversation with Neptune, this is what you love, because I've had that conversation with Venus and she told me, this is what you wanna do, because I had that conversation with Mars and he told me, this is what you wanna say, this is what you're thinking, because I had that conversation with Mercury and he told me that that's what you want, that, that you were thinking, that's what you were saying, cool. That's what you want, then this is what you have to do in order to get all of that, in order for you to have all the pieces fall together. So. All that being said, Saturn going retrograde is one of the biggest blessings for me personally, but everything comes with balance, everything comes with time, and at the very end of a retrograde or a direct period, a retrograde or a direct phase, I'm always celebrating, especially when it comes to Saturn, because I'm all about building things of longevity, things that are long-term, things that I can count on, things that are stable. That's just the nature of my being. I'm an earth child, I'm a moon child, so I want something that I can count on that is going to catch me when I'm ready to fall. And that's what Saturn does. Now that he's direct, I can start to prove what I have learned and demonstrate those abilities, not only for myself, but for my clients, for my relationships, for every area of my entire life. During his retrograde, I learned so much about myself. I revamped a lot of my business and I prioritized a lot of things that I've been putting off. And that was the blessing of what Saturn retrograde did for me. Now, if I was to fight it and to force my own will, I would be exhausted, I would be defeated, and I wouldn't have learned anything from that retrograde period. I've been getting a lot of comments from people being like, Jess, I'm so exhausted, it seems like nothing is going my way, but that's because so many of the planets are retrograde right now, or they were retrograde, and they're all starting to go direct, which means now things are starting to move forward. So if you're at a spot right now where you feel like you're being punished, that's because you're not respecting what Saturn has been doing and what Saturn has been giving you and the lessons and what it has been showing you to do. I hope that that makes sense. I don't feel like that was a, a complete sentence. Now that he's direct, a weight kind of gets lifted off of our shoulders. And by kinda, I mean a weight actually does get lifted off of our shoulders. I just finished a reading with a client today who was like, girl, 
I am so exhausted. And I was like, I know, I hear you, I feel you, you're not the only one. Because that's what Saturn does, he runs you down, he makes you tired, he makes you exhausted because he's trying to show you stuff. So now that Saturn is direct, I do wanna invite you to take this the next few weeks a week is not enough. The next few weeks in order to recharge your batteries and to think about what life has looked like since April when Saturn went retrograde because life has changed a lot until then. Then after that, I want you to look at the future and what is that you see for yourself and what is that you want to grow and what lessons you want to learn, what commitments you want to take on. Then I want you to ask yourself, am I ready for that, is this truly what it is that I want and what do I have to do in order to make it what it could potentially be and what it will eventually be? That's the, that's the conversation that Saturn wants to have with you. And that's why I keep saying, I'm gonna take Saturn out on a date, we're gonna sit across the table, I'm gonna ask him what he wants me to do, what he sees for me, what plans we have for our future together because it's gonna be dope. And we're gonna have a date, we're gonna have a glass of wine, I don't even drink, but I might that night. <laughs> <laughs> and for, the, for those of you guys who don't know what it is that I'm talking about, I don't know where it is I said it, probably in our Astro Live chat or somewhere else, but I said I wanted to take Saturn out on a date on the 6th in order to celebrate all that he has done for my life in his retrograde and now that he's going direct, now we can now we can make a commitment. Now we can make things official. All right, you guys, so I hope that that makes sense. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for leaving all of your comments down below. I see every single one of them. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on additional videos that are coming, especially this winter and this fall. I'm going to be I'm going to be putting so much energy into the YouTube channel because I see how much you grow and prosper from it and it feels really good for me. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.